Scientists created a wormhole, y'all, so does that mean next stop Alpha Centauri? Nope, no, it's not that kind of wormhole. Hey there, friends, Trace here for D News. Thanks for tuning in. Wormholes were theorized in 1935 by my buddy Al Einstein and his pal Nathan Rosen as part of the theory of general relativity. They were called Einstein-Rosen bridges and are thought of as holes through space-time. Wormholes have never been spotted, though one Russian researcher believes that he could spot them with a giant radio telescope, although it's never actually been done until now, sort of. Scientists at the Autonomous University of Barcelona have created a magnetic wormhole that appears to transfer a magnetic field through, quote, an extra special dimension. Magnetic wormholes aren't space-time wormholes, but they are a similar concept. Space-time wormholes are a manipulation of gravitational energy, which we don't yet know how to do, whereas magnetic wormholes are manipulating electromagnetic energy, which we are really good at. Using metamaterials, something that's given me a headache here on DNews before, the scientists were able to create a tunnel of magnetic energy last year, and then this year they made the tunnel invisible. See, while normal space-time wormholes connect two points in this or other universes through an unseen bridge, this wormhole connects two magnetic fields through an unseen bridge. It's really key to point out that if you looked at the wormhole, you would see it. It's not invisible to the human eye, just to magnetic sensing. A normal magnet has two poles, north and south, and they are opposed with a magnetic field connecting them. In this case, their wormhole separated the poles, singling them out, creating a monopole, something that doesn't happen in nature. Researchers can't tell where the magnetic field that connects those monopoles is, which gives the illusion that it is in a special dimension. This device makes a monopole pop into existence with no detectable connection to the pole on the other side of the device. Manipulation of magnetic fields is used for magnetic resonance imaging at hospitals. MRI machines use giant magnets to force the protons inside our bodies to align, then use radio waves to knock them around, causing them to show up on the scans. MRI scanners are very sensitive to other magnetic interference, and any metal can ruin the image it's trying to create and be dangerous to the occupants, because basically a giant electromagnet. Not to mention, people have to slide into that claustrophobia-inducing tube. With this new magnetic manipulation technique, MRI machines of the future might be built which could scan multiple things at once without interference and wouldn't need one massive magnet. Using a magnetic wormhole MRI, they might be able to do surgery and scan at the same time. Plus, the manipulation of electromagnetic fields isn't just big business in medical science. Remember way back in 2007 when Bush was president and I was a server at a popular chain Italian restaurant? A study in physical review letters came out that made a big splash because they found if you could manipulate electromagnetic energy in such a way, you could create an invisibility cloak. And that is essentially what these Spanish researchers have done. They hid a magnetic field's distortions from outside viewing by using metamaterials to create an invisible electromagnetic wormhole. In the end, this wormhole can't move anything from one place to another, and like much scientific research, doesn't do anything super practical at the moment, but it is a proof of concept for some future technologies and could be used for things we haven't even thought of yet. On top of that, it's a great simulation of the gravitational wormhole we sci-fi addicts know and love. So when we finally learn to manipulate gravitational energy on a massive scale, we might have a few more theories to work with. If you're more into the mystery of gravitational wormholes, Dr. Ian O'Neill and I did a podcast over on Test Tube Plus all about black holes, wormholes, white holes, and some really insane physics. It was a great series. Check it out. They theorized that the universe could hold gravitational fields that were too strong for light to escape. And they're smart. I mean, they did it before general relativity, quantum right. dynamics, even modern astronomy. They had no clue. There's also a link in the description down there if you're on mobile, or if you're more of a radio person, you can go check it out on iTunes. We took all five episodes from that series, and we smushed them into one kick-ass black hole podcast. What do you think of magnetic wormholes? Cool? Kind of meh? Let us know down in the comments and keep coming back here to D News for more videos every day.